Hello, Crazy Talk animators, and welcome to this two-part tutorial where we're going to show you how to create your own animated facial features for your G3 characters in Crazy Talk Animator 3. So in the previous tutorial, you remember that I had a character with a blank face, and then I used some of the, the sprite templates from the content manager, and we added these for some basic uh, animations. So here I have the nose, and when I click on it, you'll see that initial sprite at the bottom. So I'm going to do a comparison between the PSD group template that we need to follow, and then the sprite editor uh, that will contain all these sprites in accordance to the structure here on the right. So in the PSD group for face, we have a folder for left brow. We also have a folder for right brow. This Inside each one of them, you'll see that you have subfolders for normal. Now, for the left eye, we have up to six different subfolders. This is the same for the right eye. These consist of normal, uh, this folder for sm smile close, eye close, scared close, eye squint, and the rest of the sprites that we're going to need for facial animation once we start using the sprite editor. Uh, for the nose, we only have one subfolder, which is the normal, which is the same one we saw uh, at the beginning of the tutorial. And then we have uh, the folder for mouth. Now, inside mouth, we have up to 15 subfolders. These include a combination of six folders for facial expressions, and then the rest are for lip syncing. And if we go down here to the sp sprite editor at the left, you can see the first six, uh, which are for expressions. That's normal, smile close, pucker lip, open lip, show teeth, and mouth open. But then we have the ones we need for lip syncing, which are another normal or the same one you could use. A, uh, A, H, we have OH, E, E, U, W, O, O, and the rest of the lip syncs that we're going to need if we start animating our character with audio files. All right, so um, what else do we have? We also have additional folders for the face. We have for the left ear, for the right ear. Uh, we have also for back hair. Okay, so these won't be used, these folders, these sprites, or these folders aren't for um, animating with expressions. Basically, you can use these folders if you wish to do sprite switching uh, during your animations, just like we did with the glove before and the, and the shoes. You can sw switch these sprites anytime you want, and you can drop these additional sprites inside these folders, and you can save them um, as you go along. All right, so that's the comparison between the sprite editor and the PSD group. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start adding some of these sprites for my facial features. So the first thing I'm going to do here is we're going to go down into the folder for the face. If you remember, in one of my previous tutorials, we had the face layer that contained painted on eyes, eyebrows, and noses. And then I created a duplicate layer for my head. And that head had, uh, we, we deleted everything. So I'm going to bring the face layer up so we can use these as a reference, okay? And I'm going to drop the opacity here a bit so we can th see things a bit clearer. Uh, I also want to lock the layer for face and head. I don't accidentally want to move these around because we're going to start dropping in facial features for the eyes and everything else. So we look here at the bones, these little uh, crosses, these joints. Now these bones are where our sprites are going to be located. So I'm going to grab the first one for left ear, and I want to make sure it's right on the contour of the face, between the face and the ear on the left. And then I'm going to do the same for the bone for the right ear, and make sure it's right at the edge of that face contour. Uh, the next one I wish to move is the mouth. So I'm going to locate that. Where's the mouth? Right there. So I'm going to move that joint and place it right there. And the same for the nose. Make sure the nose is right in the middle of that sprite. And we're going to do the same thing for the right eye and also for the left eye. Remember, these bones are very important because these will dictate where our sprites will be attached to our head. Then we're going to work with uh, the right brow and the left brow. Now, these are a bit different because you don't place these at the center of the sprite. You put them at the very edge, the inner edge. So this will basically hinge my brow sprites to my face uh, so that later they can move based on that hinge there. Great. So we have all our bones set up. Now, the next thing I wish to do is that I'm going to open a PSD file that I have um, with my facial sprites, facial sprites that I created uh, before. 
So I have this template here, and I have all my facial sprites set um, in, in the center. So let's grab first my eyebrows. We have, you'll see that we have the iris, we have the nose, and we have other facial sprites inside. So let me go up. Oh, at the bottom here, I also have the collection of all the, the mouth sprites that we have, both for facial expressions and also for lip syncing. Okay, these are very, very important. So let's grab the first batch here. I am going to grab both the left and the right eyebrow, and I'm gonna be bringing these into my PSD group template. But I need to go into the folder here. So let me just go to left brow under normal, that normal folder. And then here inside is where I'm gonna drop in both of my eyebrows. So obviously I have a left uh, eyebrow and a right eyebrow, and I also have folders for each one. So right now I just brought them into the same folder and I'm gonna relocate the right eyebrow down to its subfolder called normal, just like that. All right, great. So now we have both left and right and I'm going to relocate the left one. Again, remember that we wanted that face there at the background as a reference, so we know where to put that. All right, so we have those both, both of those done. Let me collapse those folders. And what else? Now I'm gonna work with the left eye. So I'm gonna open this up and inside we have up to six subfolders, but I'm only gonna work with one at this point. I'm only gonna work with the normal one. If I no open this one, we have additional subfolders for the iris, the eye white, and the mask. So because this is the first part of this tutorial, I'm only gonna work with the iris, the first iris, okay? So I'm gonna bring in that sprite for my iris and I'm gonna drop it into that folder. So let me go back into the ones I created. I'll select the iris normal template and let's bring this in and drop it inside. And since we were inside the, the normal iris folder, we'll see that the layer was uh, added into that. So let me bring this down here. Let me turn this off better. Turn off the bones and the labels. Now we can see things better. And we have that reference in the back. Great. And because that's, this iris looks exactly the same for left and right, then I don't have to make two of them. I just need to duplicate this. So I'm going to right click on my layer and I'm going to duplicate the layer. You can rename these if you like. Obviously, it's, it's always a good idea to do so. This will help you keep everything nice and organized. So I'm gonna label this as Iris Normal. We have no conflict in the name, even though they're in the same folder. And I'm gonna go to the right eye, go down to Normal, and then Iris. I'm gonna drop in that other layer, that duplicate layer, for my Iris Normal. Bring this down and add it, okay? Now we have it inside. And we're gonna relocate that duplicate layer to the left. This one, there we go. And bring it down left, and yeah, that looks okay. Great, so let's collapse these folders just to keep things organized. And the next one we're gonna bring in is the nose. So you imagine the drill. We go into the template folder, uh, make sure we have the normal folder open, and I'm gonna go into the, the templates that I created, the sprites that I created, I'm sorry select the nose layer and bring this into that folder and rearrange it. And it looks right, just about right. Yeah, we're good, we're good. So the nose is done. Now let's work on the mouth. So again, for the mouth, we have a lot of subfolders sub inside. But at this point, I just wanna work with the normal, okay, at this point. So I'm gonna open that folder here and then I'm gonna go into the template uh, into the ones that I created, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna select the normal uh, sprite. This is basically the default sprite that we're gonna use on our, on our character. So just make sure that it's centered right where it's supposed to be in the mouth. Not at the mouth folder again, in the normal folder of the mouth, all right? And that will ensure that we're following the correct structure um, once we start animating inside the sprite editor. Now for the face here, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rearrange this. I'm gonna bring this down because remember, I want to use this face one, I was using it as a reference. The head one is the one where we deleted, we, we brushed over all these features. So we're gonna keep the same order. 
leave head on top, face at the bottom, and I'm going to save this PSD file. Let's save it as five. And wonderful. So now we're ready to go back to Crazy Talk Animator 3.1. And I'm going to uh, import that PSD file that we just saved. So go back into the composer mode, click on PSD, import PSD assets. And then I'll get prompted uh, for my file here. Let's select that one. And again, I'm going to select full actor. Okay. Even though we've only we're, we're working, we've been working on several several folders. So I'm going to click on full actor at this point just to make sure that all these sprites are updated, and I have my character. But let me turn off this bone function here. I don't want to show the bone. Now we can see things clear. All right, that looks good. I'm going to go to layer, and I want to make sure that the hierarchy for the mouth, I want to make sure that the mouth is under the nose. That way, my mouth is not blocking or overlapping my nose. So as soon as I fix that in the layer manager, I can go back to the stage. And now I think we're ready for animation. So I'll click on my character, and I'll open the face puppet. Remember, you can use Control U for this. And I can select the first general face control, and I click on Preview. And because I have all the normal sprites, the initial the default sprites we need, then the animation looks good. Okay? Test it around, and you'll see that we have animation based on these sprites. Now, if I choose a second face control uh, and I click on Preview, I, this one requires additional sprites, and you'll see that the mouth disappears. This is because the additional sprites for the mouth have not been dropped in. We only dropped in the sprite for the normal. Okay, the normal uh, default sprite. So if I go into the sprite editor and I click on face, I can select the mouth here and you'll see that we have all the rest of all the other sprites that we need have been grayed out because we haven't dropped them in. We're going to do this in the next tutorial. Okay, so we, we at this point, we will only work with the normal for the mouth. The same goes for the eye. Remember the iris? So we haven't dropped in the rest of these sprites that we need for additional uh, animation or facial expressions. So we're going to do just that in the next tutorial. We're, we're going to drop in all these additional facial features. All right, so thank you and stay tuned.